I'm working on something called aneuploidy. Aneuploidy is the unbalancing of the genome. Cancers are tend to be a mess, and uh, I'm trying to sort through that mess. <laughs> I engineer synthetic proteins that allow us to engineer T cells to attack a cancer of our choice. How do I put this? There's a lot of uncertainty in certain diagnoses, and I'm trying to improve that. I am now engineering antigen-specific T cells from induced pluripotent stem cells as a way to engineer off-the-shelf cancer-fighting T cells in large numbers for multiple patients. Um, what we're trying to do is make this tumor microenvironment less tumor supportive in order for the immune cells to better penetrate into the tumor and attack the cancer. There's so much to be excited about in the field of cancer research right now. We have all these cool technologies that we can apply to cancer. We can ask questions that we couldn't ask a year ago today. The discoveries that are ahead of us are nothing like we could have imagined 10 years ago. I mean, to me, that's magic. What I hope to accomplish during uh, my tenure as a Damon Runyon Fellow is leveraging uh, the excitement around cell therapy, cell engineering, gene engineering, and combining it all to transform patient lives. I'm really excited to be a part of that, where we can turn cells into little robots that can save lives. Hopefully, we'll be able to potentially treat cancer like, you know, okay, you need to take antibiotics because you've got this bacterial infection. You need to take this drug because you've got this cancer. I hope to see the end of cancer. I think it's feasible. We all work on different types of cancer, different approaches, but we're all working towards the same goal.